performance by the German youth. What does it take to be an Olympic champion? Beyond the brawn, it's mental might. Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland, is located thousands of kilometers from the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. Yet scientists here have made their way deep inside Olympians' heads. One of them is Vikram Chip, assistant professor of biomedical engineering. He studies how incentives affect performance, and those incentives are especially big on the Olympic stage. They might be social because you're playing for your country. They can also be monetary because Olympic federations do pay depending on how, how you do. So, similar stakes and years of training put Olympians on the relatively same playing field. Why then do some perform poorly under pressure? Chib points to a fear of failure, literally lodged deep inside the brain. That area encodes reward value and it also encodes potential loss. The evidence, brain scans of people in his studies who were presented with a different kind of incentive, $100 to win a video game. And that worry about loss tends to corrupt your motor performance, corrupts the areas of your brain that are responsible for moving your arm, say, or, or moving your legs. Good news is the concern about failing can be reframed if you consciously set your mind to it. So if I tell you, all right, like, get ready for the loss, realize that you could lose, you, people tend to sort of not be worried about losses when they're, when they are, uh, when they're doing these tasks. Incentives aren't the only things that can affect an Olympian's performance. Take elite figure skaters. How are they able to do difficult jumps and spins that would literally make our heads spin? When we spin, our eyes move in an equal but opposite direction. But dizziness sets in when we stop moving, but our eyes keep going. What that does is give the brain a false sense of, of, of motion. But elite athletes can rewire their brains by actually suppressing this feeling of disorientation, according to Kathleen Cullen, professor of biomedical engineering. It's developed by rigorous and repetitive training, allowing professional figure skaters, for example, to spin up to 400 rotations per minute. What's more, they have a sixth sense. And we can actually watch those computations occurring at the order of milliseconds. It's a complex sensory system allowing athletes to fix performances mid-routine, like when skaters are doing jumps. And you, you're, maybe you started off a little differently than you expected because the ice was a little slippery or maybe your, your ankle's in a slightly different position. What they can do is correct on the fly for these errors. Proof that the mind does work in mysterious ways, in this case making the difference between winning and losing. Francis Coe, CGTN. Baltimore, Maryland.